Good morning and welcome to the Tilden Nature Area. I'm East Bay Regional Park District Naturalist, Anthony Fisher. Look at this pile of sticks. This is the home of the wood rat, one of the most interesting creatures you can find here in the forest. Today we're gonna to take a closer look, more homes, and some smaller sign that the wood rat leaves behind. Shh, sleeping in there. Here at the Tilden Nature Area, we love wood rats. We have two trails named after the wood rat. We have a wood rat house on display in the visitor center with wood rat information and even a cute little model wood rat. I wonder what goes on inside the wood rat's head. This is a wood rat skull. The wood rat is a rodent. Rodent? Yes, Anthony, a rodent. Part of a group of small mammals with distinctive teeth for gnawing wood, nuts, and other hard objects. There are two sharp incisors, no canines, and then a set of molars for grinding. This larger beaver skull will help us demonstrate some of the important characteristics of the rodent skull. Orange enamel coats the front of the teeth, protecting them from wear, while the back side of the teeth wear more quickly, maintaining the sharp, chisel-like structure that helps them chew. If we humans tried to live a rodent's lifestyle, our teeth would wear to the nub in no time. Yes, the rodent's teeth wear, but they have a solution. Hidden deep within the skull and in the jawbone, more tooth. Their teeth are ever growing. Look at all that extra tooth just waiting to be used. As it wears, it's replaced every day. That's amazing. We have now switched to the wood rat cam. The wood rat can travel to and from its house along these horizontal tree trunks, then up branches high into the trees where it can gather the leaves that are its main food. These well-traveled tree trunk trails are scattered with the tic-tac shaped scat of the wood rat. These twig tips from the coast live oak are evidence that the wood rat was foraging overhead in the night. Upon closer inspection, you can see the crisp angled cuts made by the wood rat's sharp incisors. And speaking of incisors, these marks were left on an elderberry branch as the rat gathered the soft inner bark to line its sleeping nest. Well, life's not just fun and games for the wood rat. They have to watch out for predators like bobcats, coyotes, foxes, and many others. The wood rat also has to watch out for smaller animals like ticks and fleas that can plague the wood rat. That's why it's not a good idea to approach a wood rat or its home. Wood rats have a habit of bringing bay leaves in and around their home. The strong, volatile compounds in the leaves drive away fleas and other ectoparasites. Now let's look at a few examples of the dedication and ingenuity that is the wood rat home. This is a very cool rat house arrangement. Perhaps we should rent this out for weddings. Mm -hmm. 